fix this hair. Hey, I lost all my hair. What's with the hair? What's going What's under there? The ugliest thing ever. You show up in curlers. You look like an idiot. She took her weave out and put it in my head. We are headed to Columbus, Ohio. You know who lives in Ohio? Candy Apple! Kathy, she's like a cold sore that just keeps coming back, like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And you're like, God, go away already. Every single person is going to be in the group dance. It is called Bad Apples. <laughs> it's a little 40s, has a little novelty, but it's a little Katy Perry. So I want the pinup girl look. We have the rat, we have the snood. I got put in a rat in my hair and a snood. What's a snood? When you go on stage for that competition, you better be on fire. All right, candy apples, applesauce. Squish them. That's the rat. Ew. I did not want us to be able to find these things. A rat is a foam thing that you roll your hair in, and it makes you look kind of like George Washington. <laughs> it's the ugliest thing ever. <laughs> when you saw how ugly those were, why would you purchase them? Okay. You go, you tell her you looked, and they didn't have them. Ugly. That's not very Katy Perry. And then we're yeah. going to wear a snood and a rat. Ladies, think of everything I yelled at you about five days ago, four days ago, three days ago, two days ago, yesterday. Go over that dance in your head. This is really important to me personally. Ready for a snood? Don't worry about that. Let me go over this whole hair thing. I think the most stressful part of getting the girls ready for the competition is the hair. If your snoot or your rat comes undone on stage, that is not going to be good. Holly, thank you so much for giving me a black wow. snoot. Wait a minute, wait a minute here. This is like a snoot. I know. But we have to, you can't wear different things on stage. You guys know that. Why am I finding out this now? You know, these moms may not know the difference between snoots, but I can tell. Some are thick crocheted knitted snoods, and the other are really thin nylon, almost like a hairnet. Every one of these snoods has to be exactly the same. Details can make or break a number. But why didn't you buy seven new ones of that? Because when I left yesterday morning, I searched around four different stores Saturday morning. That's what I got. But nobody told I me. Did. I, I would have said, hey, Holly, where you were you? Where different. were you? Four different stores, four different stores, four different stores. Holly? Go to 14 different stores and then start complaining. Like I said, okay, well, buy I would... seven of the same thing. You know what? I'm getting sick and tired about hearing any snoots, OK? I want the thin ones that Holly bought in everybody's hair, and I want this in Nia's hair. We have to have the uh, same thing. I'm the choreographer. yoo -hoo. I'm over here. I designed the costume. The rats and the snoots make the number. <laughs> How much hairdo? It's not Amish. Oh, yes, it is. No, you should know that. That's 40. They're about to announce the group awards, and I'm dreading it. I think it's time for some pork chops and applesauce. How do you like them apples, Kathy? Girls, how are we doing? Chloe, let's put the hair. Ew. I told her four times. You told her four times to get it up? Push-ups, go. 25. Can't listen to your teacher? Every dance studio has rules. Chloe broke the rules. Rules are for safety. Safety for the dancer, safety for those around her. Two, straighten your bottom knee. Every dancer knows you come with your hair up to class. You're not going to start tanning again with your hair still down. For real? Leave the room, get the hair up, and don't come back until it's up. <laughs> Chloe, here, I told her. Why didn't you open your mouth and ask me? Ridiculous. Could have asked for a rubber band at the front desk, right? Why she was crying, I don't know. Kids should cry when their arm is broken and it's hanging off or somebody died. That's it. We're working on 
turns, it's taking you 20 minutes to get your hair up. A Broadway talent scout is coming here tomorrow. I don't have time to be nice and sweet. We are turning these girls into athletes, not pageant queens. I wonder if she's coming this morning. Who knows? I never know what to expect with Abby. Is she gonna be happy and wanna teach? Is she gonna be mad and sit in her bedroom? Is she gonna get dressed today? It's not fair to the children. Ah! What, what the heck? heck? What's with the hair? What's, got, what's under there? I, it's not, it's not, not dry. So I just stuck it up and I'm gonna get sick. It's cool in here. I mean, come on, do your hair. Get a hair dryer and blow your hair. Wow. Really? Oh do God. we come wrapped up in a turban? No. no. There's, There's always, always something. something. There's always something. And she goes, well, I have to work and you don't. Well, guess what? I'm still doing stuff and I'm still getting my hair done. Well, just do your job. You worked in a bank. Would you show up in a bank like that? I always... If I worked in a school, would I show up with a big old towel on my head as a principal? Here I am. Do you take, do you take no. it seriously? No. no. Right. That's why I was like, You're a joke. You're an absolute joke. Make that arm stronger and get into somebody's face. It needs to be higher, closer to the headband rather than way back on the crown of her head. Savvy is obsessed with high poofs in her hair and in my hair now. I just want to worry about my dance. Flip the top half of her hair, make a bun. We tried one thing, didn't work. We tried another, didn't work. So she took her weave out and put it in my head. And I was like, oh my god. And I just, I just looked horrible. It looked like you were in This is so in her head. I wanted to talk a little bit about yesterday, the role for Drop Dead Diva. I don't know if everybody was truly happy that Maddie got the role. It could have been any one of the kids that auditioned for it. We all congratulated I Maddie. I think they the yeah, The girls all con congratulated Maddie. I don't know what else you want us to do. I'm entitled to my opinion because I'm 42 years old and I'm a free American citizen, so I get to say whatever I want and believe whatever I want. I stand on my credentials and my knowledge. That's fine. Something you can never take away. Then fix this hair, because it's horrible. And why don't you fix your hair and fix your face and your body and everything else. And That's right? fine. When I join your dance company, I'll do Let's it. Let's start critiquing people. Let's start with you. Look in the mirror. Holly had to go after me, you know, go for the jugular. Look in the mirror, fix your own body, fix your own hair. Holly, let's start. Get a padded bra. Don't wear dresses. What else do you want me to tell you? Huh? And you know what? I got approval for those braids, and I got them put in. Not in from my dance company, didn't it? Yes, says I right did. Here, yes, do I not did. change your hair. And oh. you know what? I did get approval for it, and this is part of her ethnicity. Well, it's weighing her down. It's Ethnic weighing dancers. her down. There are four when other she, people when you here made the, the last three weeks, Holly, it's like a log coming out of the side That's of her eye. And on all this, Nia, the lunge, the arch, all of that stuff is late and sloppy. Your mother thinks you're early, you're not. Enough is enough. If you want to fix someone up and if you're such like a miss fix it, fix yourself. Look in the mirror. Start with the woman in the mirror and leave my kid alone. Hey guys, I'm here. I'm very sick. But you do have a hairbrush, right? What? Abby, your hair. Yeah, I said I'm gonna go. Just to because you have a rash doesn't mean you can't brush your hair. It's in roll. It's in. Uh, have hey, you girls. looked in a mirror? You're very vain. I have confidence no matter what. Abby, if you're not feeling good, I will help you. If you need help, just let me know. Of course, she'll help you. Ashley is a suck up around Abby, but when she's around us, she's like a totally different person. It's like a Jekyll and Hyde. I think Bryn is really excited to dance with Maddie. This is a big deal. Yeah, it is you a know? big deal. I wish our kids from our studio would have come and watched, because, you know, I'd like them to see Bryn and Maddie. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. When well, they like each other too, which I think that helps with the chemistry a lot. I need a wet. What do you I need? need a wet. <gasps> I need a white bee. It's right here. There we go. There we go. There we go. She's out doing Abby's hair, and the kid gets all the good choreography and gets everything handed to her, and I'm sure she'll get a solo next week, and not if Maddie makes her look bad. Bryn's on probation, so I think this week, Ashley thinks this is her way of getting her kid on the team. Pull a wig out from that box. Yeah. And stick it on your head. 
Oh my god, what is that? What is that? <laughs> is that a wig? <laughs> this looks like a jellyfish. Are we dancing in those? <laughs> is that for the group dance? <laughs> That's solo. for Bossy? I did it for your solo. <laughs> Like, is this really how Abby wants our kids like, to be represented like against Studio giant, 19? Big giant erasers. We can take their wigs and erase uh, Studio 19. Oh my god, oh my god. what is yeah. happening? I, can, look at the kids, like, they're <laughs> so serious. <laughs> Snooky Slipper is on Jay's head. They just look so cheap, and in a the picture, they look so good. I had staff order wigs. Well, the wigs don't look like the picture. The wigs aren't the same color as they are in the picture. and. Frankly, they're not going to work. I'm really nervous going into our last rehearsal for the Astra Awards. Abby hasn't seen the piece yet, and I don't know if this is what she's looking for. Hi, Ab. Hi, baby, how are you? Wait, I'm too. How are you doing? Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, I'm OK. You oh, made it. Yeah, how are you doing? She's an idiot. Seriously. You're in Australia. You're meeting people from a TV network, and you show up in curlers. You look like an idiot. She literally is wearing the same clothes she was wearing. I'm not gonna. She put a freaking bracelet on and six curlers in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> that looks on stage when your hair falls out of your head. That is unprofessional. That embarrasses me. It's unprofessional. It makes me look bad. Your hair, you control. That's your responsibility. The way you all look when you step on stage, that's the easy part. I am not gonna let you, I will not allow you to fail at dancing for music or fail at music for dance. Get it? Hi, guys. Moving into our divisional overalls in the elite mini solo division. In second place, act number eight in charge. And in first place, act number 20, red. Somehow, that hairpiece falling out did not affect the scoring. Maybe they just didn't see it. Yeah. Yay! Congratulations. Now that was a clean sweep. Mm -hmm. Lily, you were second, and you know how I feel about second. All right, the group routine was quite dynamic. Hannah, how do you think you did? I think the dance went well, besides the fact that I went early on the ponche part. OK. Well, I had a pretty darn good seat. When you sit on top of people like this, girls, Brady, listen to me. When you're judging and you sit right here, OK? What is that? Her Stacey hair. Stacey cut out my hair. Oh, oh my god. Stacy cut out Louie's hair. Louie <laughs> was like, she just pulled it out. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Oh. Walk out. Hey, I lost all my hair. So don't follow Lily unless you want to be sued. What is happening? I have no idea how that happened because I cut on the outside I of don't the hat. Whatever. It's already happened. Obviously, it was an accident. It's not like you're trying to just cut my hair off. I'm worried about that kid. I, I don't. I just don't know what's going on with her. How do you think I feel? Go to stage. Okay, second place. Abby's always saying, please. Just go home. Obviously not working out for us. So just go. Excuse me. Hi. I'm freaking out because I lost half of my hair. No, OK. You have, you have good hair. You didn't lose half of it. How do you think I felt when Dee brushed it and brushed it and brushed it and brushed it, and it just kept pulling out, pulling out, pulling out? And I was devastated. And then I thought, you know what? But I'm alive. I don't really care about the hair coming out. I mean, it's I know, but we thought you were great. We both did. Uh, no, I'm serious. And just, ah! You don't rub out. You rub in, because you're going to stretch all that skin, and then it's going to get saggy and baggy. Just look at your mother. Not even a makeup wipe. Just stop. Just yes, OK? 
I just feel like I let you down two weeks in a row. No, you didn't, sweetheart. You didn't let me down. But every time you step on that stage, people expect more, Lily. They saw you last year. They saw you win, 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 win. They want more from you. Understood? I'm really starting to worry about Lily. Come on, let's go. She is the one kid who's been here before, and everybody should be able to lean on her. But she's cracked, and it doesn't look good for the new ALDC team. Jess, now you were a little upset when Bryn showed up wearing a bow. <laughs> bow gate. No. Explain. JoJo designed an outfit. JoJo is her daughter. Okay, picked the fabric, picked the style. A company made it. JoJo wore it in a live performance. Got the it. company loved it. They put it in a catalog. Okay, I'm, right? I'm, uh, unbeknownst to me, any of this. No, uh, record, uh, I thought Abby does not it. live under a rock. She I know, knows. I, okay, no, when you I open up know. the catalog, I swear to God, I did not know any of this. There's three pictures of JoJo wearing it in I all know, three colors, and you go, order that, please. No, we didn't. It's your I didn't, kid. I didn't like, do that. I didn't do that. Okay, well, you don't live under a rock. It was laying Abby. in like, a box in my studio. Did it magically get there? your live performance. No, because I have. Mine. I wish I would have brought it today. Okay. She puts the outfit on Bryn that JoJo designed. Then Ashley sticks a bow in Bryn's hair. I mean, this big. Not a little bow, a huge bow. So theoretically, Abby and Ashley dressed Bryn up like JoJo. The first time Bryn wore a bow was she was three years old at a dance. You did not make the bow, Jess. You don't own the bow. She well, actually do does in now. This world. <laughs> She's pretty close to owning it. I'm sure people are wondering why is that a big deal? JoJo is known as JoJo with the Bobo. JoJo oh, wears and how is she known as that? I have no idea. Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Nope, uh -uh. Well, JoJo's been wearing bows her whole life. All right, well, okay. let's take a look. Sorry, At the moment, yes. Bryn wore a bow. <laughs> Bryn's not the next Maddie. She's the next JoJo. It's a costume. You can take no responsibility for that costume. Yes. Abby put your kid in a costume that looked like JoJo. Obviously, you want your child to look like JoJo. You came in and made fun of her and mimicked and mocked JoJo for who she was. Well, Bryn's not marketable. Let's dress her like JoJo and put a big bow on her head. She's advertising your ugly for you. Congratulations. And you feel like this is JoJo's thing, JoJo's brand? Yes. So only JoJo should so wear it. So nobody here can wear a bow. Don't wear a bow. You can wear a bow. Yeah. It's to ready like to go. JoJo. It's not on right. I anyway. mean, it is perfect. I won't wear it because it's JoJo's thing. I got it, I got it. You think Bryn's not marketable? They're trying to figure out who Bryn is and where she fits in, and they're just trying her out as everyone no. else. Well, like, you know what? No, I do have to say Bryn will come into her own identity on this team. Well, of course she will. Every kid does. And yeah. that was that's like the most profound thing you've said since we've met you, since you've set foot on this oh, team. Oh, come on. It I is. I said a lot more than that. <laughs> well, Bryn will come into her own in good time. But it was and nice, exactly and it was sweet, right. and it's yeah. the way it should be. What did I say to you time and time again? What did I look at you and say? Ashley? Let Bryn's talent speak for itself. Oh, yes. Let it happen. Or just Let dress her up like JoJo. Or Maddie. <laughs>